Hello everyone, I am Kim with Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are doing our February month in review. This is where I discuss my month and how it went, what I was loving, what I was up to, etc. So let's get right to it. Um, first off, let's talk about YouTube. I have um, really only had a chance so far to watch Tarot Off The Cuff, this channel that I was um, honored to do a video or two or three <laughs> for, and I'm excited about the first one, and I'll put the link in the description box um, if you haven't already seen it, where I just used the High Priestess as inspiration for a conversation about readers getting into the flow, and it's Tear Off the Cuff is an amazing channel. I really highly encourage each and every one of you to check it out. I mean, if you like my channel, then you're going to love the Tear Off the Cuff. And definitely subscribe to it. Um, it is a newer channel, but it has some giants in our tarot community. So check it out. Get some wisdom and share it. Share the channel. Share the videos. Share a vanilla tarot too. All right, uh, let's move on to random goodies. So, random goodies. The first one I need to talk about is highly important to me. It's these. I started back reading tarot like full time professionally, and it is a lot like I can't just bust out and start um, you know using you know all these different sages and you know and Palo Santo and everything to try to clear the energies I have to like move you know things need to move quickly when you're reading professionally so sprays have always worked for me um, I just like a light essence spray so I made a big jugs of them for myself and I'm going to use all of this I'm sure like I did in the states except I got bigger brown bottles this time around this is Palo Santo and white sage so I had these um I had the essential oils they traveled with me from the United States to here and I decided to use them in this spray and I used some witch hazel and you know I try to Make sure that I hook it up with some purified water. And then I put a seashell from the beach here in there to kind of be also able to help stir up the oily water in here. Um, this is so good. It smells so good. And I just noticed a marked difference in how the, I felt energetically from reading to reading once I had this in my in my hands again. I have the power. And then I have here, let's see, lavender, white sage, and a hint of Palo Santo, because I didn't want any of the oils to go to waste. Got a little sh shell in there. I might get a couple more shells to drop at the bottom. Normally I used um, to drop in the bottom the uh, drop in the bottom. <laughs> um, can't think it's late. Crystal quartz, like the quartz um, crystals, little baby quartz, and drop them in to be as little stirs for the essence waters. But I wasn't gonna pay for all that to be coming here to the island. Just not gonna do it. So we worked with what we got. So we had baby seashells. And then I have I don't have I have an empty bottle for maybe a gift for someone, a gift spray uh, that I'll do for someone. I have someone in mind that I'm going to probably do this for. Um creating this little essence water I like to call it. Clearing the energies, if you will. Energetic essence water, essence energetic water, I don't know. Something to that effect. But I had this empty because I'm going to use that for future use. And I have three. So I have my lavender and my white sage and Palo Santo sprays. And then my citrus blend, which has bergamot and lemon. Mmm 
smells so good. And sometimes I need a, a lift me up and this is my lift me up spray. And then this is my, you know, clearing um, energy sprays and then also just kind of helping me to prepare and ready myself like my lavender for my readings. So I am super excited. I keep them in this little styrofoam thing to kind of keep them upright and I set them down carefully. I'm like babying them. I'm so happy that they're here. I feel so much better because even with crystals, even with in setting intentions, I still was feeling the need to like, like cleanse between every reading and it just was not happening like it should. And so I was starting to energetically get kind of ill and just not feeling well. Um, just I knew empathically I was just I was starting to have a lot of energy leaks. Um, and it was time to call that back in and the essence sprays the moment that I created them is the moment I felt so good and I have been I'm, I'm, it's probably totally in my head but who cares it works um, so enough about me gushing on that the other thing that I that I have that you see is back there my screen my tarot screen my room divider screen dealio so I've always wanted one ever since I saw it moons and moons ago on somebody's site or somebody showed it on one of the Facebook groups. And I was like, I really want one. I wanted to make my own, but that wasn't ever going to happen. So I bought one because I wanted to kind of mask what was going on back here. <laughs> but I also needed a backdrop. I don't have my magical little space. You know what I'm saying? So this, this makes me so happy I just love it I can fold it up when I'm not needing to have it all up but it's super duper cool I'm looking at it through through the camera here the, the screen I just adore it adore it. it makes me happy I was so happy it came here intact not an issue I'm so grateful and it's um it's reversible so you know, there's tarot cards on the other side. There's tarot cards up and down. It's trimmed in black. It's just, it's just, I love it. It adds a little extra magic where I'm feeling like I don't have all the magic. My table is, when I take pictures of it, it feels great. I love it. But like when I want a backdrop, like when I'm doing client readings, or I don't always do client readings like this, but sometimes I am when they're facing me. Um, yeah, I need to have something going on, not just some curtains. I need something going on. So anyways, again, I'm gushing. Um, books, I'm not going to talk too much about books. I am kind of reading this fiction book, but once I finish it and we'll see how I feel about it, um, I'll talk about it. I read a couple of different tarot reference books on my Kindle, but again, nothing it was like oh i glanced at it it's not anything to be like oh yeah I rec you know what i mean so we're gonna move along on books crystal we are gonna talk about we're going to talk about i feel like i need to dust her off because i've got all sorts of ashes on her <laughs> this is my gold sheen obsidian that traveled all the way from the states with me and I just, I love it. It's like, it's the best of both worlds in terms of um, grounding as a dark stone. You know, dark stones tend to have that, um, those, those vibrational um, energetic frequencies that can really help you with grounding and protection. But it also carries some of the properties that are found with um, labradorite and um, even, you know, smoky quartz where it's tapping into that intuition, it's that tapping into that inner knowing and that and, and being able to um, just not only be able to download, but to be able to just like to, you know, say to have that dialogue with whomever you're connecting with and downloading for. And so this stone was very very important for me this month i love it i love just how it caught the light even i just love how it i felt protected by it how it's been on me and near me 
every step of the way for a long time now and it's a little palm stone but it's gorgeous and it's mine and I'm grateful I am grateful so sometimes when I was really needing grounding like one I did one weekend oh it must have been Valentine's weekend <laughs> still a blur Valentine's that's why it's kind of like eh, February <sighs> um I did so many readings, so many readings. It was just like, oh my gosh. And, you know, folks are feeling a call for love and they're feeling like they don't have it. So those are the types of readings I was doing. It wasn't so much of how can I keep love? Although I was, yeah, there, there wasn't really much of that. There was one client reading, a couple's reading. But, and I love them, but it wasn't specific to love and it was amazing. It was about the next leg of their journey. It was just beautiful. Anyways, but all the rest where I'm searching for love, or I'm having some significant issues with a lover in my life. And so it just kind of had me feeling in a down kind of way about life. And even though I'm in this most beautiful place, I have a, a partner I love and adore. I love my kids, you know, I have love, 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 right? But it just, being in that vibration, it was difficult. And I had, I did so many readings that weekend. So many readings. Oh my gosh, I get even like tired thinking about it. I was so tired. I was tired for days, days. I think it was just like crazy. And I wasn't really cleansing and clearing properly in between. I knew I wasn't, but I was so busy. I just had to push through. But now I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to pace yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Pacing myself next month. But I'm still planning on doing more readings. But, you know, February is a, is a special thing for readers. Um, it's just one of those months, for me at least, that tends to be busy because people are wanting love and wanting to maintain love and wanting to attract love and all this stuff. And and Valentine's Day, unfortunately, really stirs up feelings for people of black in that area, whether they're in a relationship or not. And so it's busy for tarot readers, typically, is my experience. And um, I just roll with the punches. but. Yeah, I'm not thwarted. I'm I'm now feeling strong again and feeling like I've got things settled with my essence sprays. I really do. Like, I'm super excited. I love them so much. They smell so good. Um, okay, now let's talk about Oracle. I am going to just talk about these two. I've mentioned them several times on the channel, so it shouldn't come as a surprise to those who regularly watch it. But I always say that if you see... A deck come up often that means that it's well loved by me and it's a really damn good deck at least for me it resonates for me and my clients so that's all I can say the power of surrender cards this is a 52 card deck to transform your life by letting go and this is by Judith Orloff, Orloff MD Dr. Judith Orloff this is a Hay House Oracle I have a deck in focus of this particular, on this particular deck, where I discuss how I use it, I flip through the cards, um, I talk about how there's a lot of balance in the light and shadow aspects, you know, sometimes um, Hay House tends to create decks that, they, they do strive to have a bit more balanced Oracle deck now, but not always. It always sometimes felt like it was just like more of the same kind of messages from deck to deck to deck. And I'm always looking for something different, you know? Well, this to me offered something different. And uh, this is my second copy. I beat the hell out of the first one. To the, it had water damage. It, it had gold gilding before that was worn. It was bent. It was just a mess. So, yeah. Um, so I had to get a new one, and thankfully Hay House caught wind of their ridiculous gilding issues, and they stopped putting gilding, and I'm happy about that, me personally. I know there's gilding fans, but not me. So let's just kind of go through some of them. If you want more, uh, check out my deck and focus, uh, because I'll 
I'll obviously discuss that deck more in that video. We have Surrender to the Natural Beauty of the... I can't even read. Surrender to the Beauty of the Natural World. And then it has a meaning here. There's no guidebook. Let me see. It's too much of a glare. Sorry, guys. There you go. Um, it says, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. I usually use this deck at the end of the tarot reading as some like closing spiritual guidance for the client or querent. Sometimes I'm called to use it with the tarot. I use it obviously with the tarot. I always do a tarot reading typically. But then I will accentuate the reading with an oracle deck and I will have the tarot talk to this deck and it does really well. It does well for predictive and prescriptive type readings. We have surrender to success and some of the messages on here are just beautiful. Surrender to spirit. Surrender denial. Surrender frustration. Let's read this one. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. And you don't have to, as a reader, read this part, um, but I do, because it's like always usually right on point with what's being discussed in the reading. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Surrender to silence. Surrender to setting limits. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Here's one of my favorites. Surrender your attachment to results. Surrender obsessive thinking. And I got surrender to your soul's path. So you catch the dread that's like surrender to trust. Surrender negative thinking, surrender unhealthy relationships, surrender to divine timing, surrender your fear of change. I'm just kind of reading random. Surrender your outdated beliefs about yourself. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. Look at this one. It says, it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Okay. Surrender fear. And so it's an amazing deck. I still very much love this deck from the time I got it many moons and years ago now um, to now. I still love it. it there is um, only so many decks. I always say this. There was only so many decks that could travel with me um, on the plane. And this was one of them. So that should also tell you something as well. The decks that I'm talking about now are the ones that... I'm working with and they resonate right okay the next Oracle deck I want to talk about I already did an unboxing of it I published it earlier this month if not last month I can't remember but it was recently it's the intuitive life coaching Oracle by Kelly T Smith it's produced it's published by beyond words yeah and I got it on Amazon and I've owned it actually a longer time than when I published the video. I think I mentioned that in the description is that I actually, I've, what I've been trying to do is indicate the date that I actually recorded the unboxing so you know how long I've actually had the, the deck for because I've recorded so many unboxings and I haven't had a chance to publish them and I've had them in my collection for a while. So like now you're seeing it in my favorites. Well, it's because I really enjoy it because the decks that I started getting towards the end of the year were and after applying what I, you know, teach in my course, um, choosing your next deck, curating your collection, a free course on Abundant Life Tarot's website, check it out. <laughs> um, after I started employing, you know, the spreads and consulting on which decks I wanted to add and which decks it's time to let go and pass on. And in that process, I got to a place of just really knowing my collection and knowing which decks were going to work and which decks are just going to sit on the shelf and not 
be even really picked up. So the, this deck that came in late in my collection is one that I've been really loving because it's now mostly close to what I'm looking for in decks. So here's the back. So I won't, since I just published an unboxing, I won't go through all the cards, obviously. Um, it's a lot of cards. It's 77. It's got a great guidebook, even though it's also got a cool little message at the bottom. They're glossy and they're a little large for my liking, but I still really like this deck. And I use it for both readings for myself and sometimes for client readings. Soul group. You're getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. I love the earthy images, the earthy color. Uh, colors that we find in this deck. And I suppose if you didn't, weren't really feeling this, you could trim it, I suppose, if you weren't feeling the messages or, but I really like it. You know, perception, and it's, you know, got a number, so you can just go to the corresponding number in the guidebook and you got your mess, your deeper message perception you are getting ready to have a shift and perception that will change everything intuition you are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing old habits an old habit may be keeping you from moving forward and it's a great guidebook by the way speaking up Love the tapestry feel of it. Just, I actually have tapestries like that, or I think I brought them, but we haven't hung them because this isn't. This is a temporary home, hence the my one of my favorites. <laughs> Surrender, I like that card. Boundaries, you gotta always have a good boundaries card because we always are working with those, right? We always needing to work with those. Approval. Energy healer. And one more. Career transition. So check out my unboxing so you can see all the cards. Check that out. I'll try to remember to link all of the decks mentioned here. To link all the mentions uh, in this um, video so that we can get access. Another thing I've been enjoying too that I need to mention um, is my Facebook group. We're growing, we're a little group, but every day there's always someone popping in, joining the group, and uh, we've been having some cool conversations. A lot of the lectures that I do for the choosing your uh, next deck, curating your collection, I have, um, I have topics in the group that people can just chime in and start talking about said course or said lesson in the course. And we talk about all sorts of things in there. So head on over to the Facebook group. Just a little plug. Next up, let's talk about tarot. Last but not least, tarot. Uh, let's see what we're gonna talk about first. The field tarot. I did an unboxing of this one. This is by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. And this is an unboxing I did out here. It's one of the um, unboxings. Um, I haven't did many out here. So uh, most of the, the videos I'm going to be doing featuring decks going forward. There may be an unboxing here or there, but it's mostly going to be deck and focuses. So just a heads up as you as the videos from here where you'll see me in this setting or down, you know, my new reading table still kind of looks the same. I use the same cloth, but um, you'll see it's more of a deck and focus versus a fresh unboxing. Um, here's the inside. I do not have the independently produced copy and I'm only going to show a couple for time's sake and also because we already did an unboxing very recently you know some people that they don't resonate with this deck i do for some reason i have the most amazing readings i have been using it re for readings for just myself this is the four of discs um 
I've been, but then I was called to use it for a couple of client readings and I really like it. I really like this deck. I'm so glad I got it. I did, um, I don't know if I published it. I think I did. I think it's in my membership, my premium membership, which is on my website, Abundant Life Tarot Premium. And I'm pretty sure I have a video there um, talking about on <laughs> about me doing a spread on whether or not I should add this deck to my collection. It was an interesting reading, and I ultimately decided to go with it, and I'm glad I did. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I was like, well, it's really pretty. And um, <laughs> my friend Lynn, she said she was like, I'm pretty sure it was her, she said it was... Um, like a glam, like a modern day, the fountain. And I agree. And I actually, I have the fountain, but I never use it. But this, I use all the time. I really love this deck. It's US Games Systems deck. And I always tend to have pretty good um, experiences with US Games. So I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with this one. The next one is not a surprise, but it, I have to be true to myself and true to the channel and tell you what I've been using um, nonstop. And that, again, is Chris Ann's The Light Sears Tarot, the mass market produced through Hay House. You guys, I use this a lot because this is my workhorse deck for my client readings. I know this deck through and through now. It's banged up. It's so banged up. You guys, I've talked ad, ad nauseum about the Light Sears Tarot, whether I've talked a ton about the um, Indie Edition or this edition. Doesn't matter. I love this deck. I love it, love it, love it. I have to be true. I have to tell you, this is the deck I used in February, and it's because I was doing hella love readings and, and life purpose readings, actually. There's Ten of Cups. So I wanted to have a deck that I was familiar with and that felt comfortable to me. And it's banged up. Like, it's so bent up, you guys. I go, like, this. I have a second copy that I haven't busted out yet. It's on its way to me. But it. I kind of like this well-wornness of it all with this deck. And the readings are always on point and, and accurate and, and resonate like to a 10. I just, I deal with the, the bent up cards and keep it pushing because I don't even want to mess around. I don't want to mess around with no decks I don't really know or don't feel like, you know, I don't want any guessing games. I just want to dive right into the reading. And this is when that that delivers. I'm not going to bore you with all of them. Well, maybe one more. <laughs> That's the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I love her so much. So yeah, I have to be true to you and be honest. Like I could, you know, a lot of people who have like multiple decks could just throw in any old deck. I'm not accusing people of that. I know people are gen genuinely being real about what they love and what they were digging in their month reviews. But I'm being real with you. This is a deck that I adore. And I'm happy to have it in my collection. I'm happy to have it in my reading practice. It delivers the goods. Well, let's see. Just a couple of wrap-ups, I'll say. Um, February was amazing. I'm still getting to know my new, you know, at the new country that I happen to find myself in. And that's been exciting. Uh, there's several beaches to go to, and I've been loving beach life. I even just this week uh, went to the beach um, after we picked up our daughter from school and and we just had a family beach day, afternoon and it was wonderful because it was during a planned uh, power outage, an all day power outage in our town. And we just looked up to find a, a restaurant that actually had power and we ate and then we went to the beach and we just, 
had an amazing time and I'm just so grateful. And my birthday, uh, this is my birthday month, February. I'm an Aquarius and it was amazing. I was able to spend my birthday on the beach um, and I had a, some new, dear new friends help me celebrate and I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful to be here and, and have this experience and yeah, I'm just, it's a lot though. It is. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes I get overwhelmed. I, you know, I miss, you know, my family that's still in the States and I miss my decks that aren't here yet. And, but then I see the life that I'm creating here and I'm, I'm just thrilled. So anyways, guys, sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for watching, hanging in there. You know me and my long-winded monthly reviews, but I like to cover all my bases and make sure I don't miss a thing. Please, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video and also share the video. Share my videos. If there's a video that you think would help someone, help them on their journey, um, or you know that people are in need of some unboxings or some information about decks or deck collecting like my um, course, share. Let them know about me. That definitely helps the channel. It helps me. And I love having more folks come to the party. All right, you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Please take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.